What's up, YouTube? Capital G here. We got ourselves some uh, Link Vrains pack leaks, and this is pretty damn interesting. I believe that every single monster from this pack, with the exception of the Evil Swarm Link, has been leaked or revealed at this point. And it's kind of crazy because I'm not going to cover everything in the leaks. I'm just going to cover a couple of cards today, then I'll cover a couple of cards tomorrow. I honestly, don't, I just don't want to spam you guys with videos. I've already got like scheduled content um, for today, so. Yeah, I don't want to upload like 10 videos, but I'm going to start with the monster that I surprisingly like the most. And <laughs> this is just, it's kind of shocking because it's the Noble Knight Link monster. I've actually read this card and I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> I, I, obviously there's something I'm missing I must not be reading this card correctly because it seems incredibly good and I like it a lot and that, that's just a surprise to me everything about this card I like like first off look at the artwork oh my god we know that Noble Knights historically have had fantastic artwork but for the most part they were a fairly underwhelming archetype and I don't know this kind of tells me that if Konami and the OCG would have like originally designed Noble Knights that they would have been like tier one they would have had like crazy effects like you know discard a noble knight to like draw three cards or something like that but let's go ahead and look at her i believe her name is inspiration of the noble knights um asode i'm probably butchered that but it doesn't matter because the artwork on the card is just absolutely fantastic she is um Light attribute, uh, 1600 attack, link to light warrior. Wait a minute, I just said light twice. Okay, let's just forget that I said light twice. Amazing artwork. She requires uh, two warrior monsters to summon, which um, actually when I saw that, I was like, uh, six samurai? <laughs> six samurai? can use this because obviously six samurai didn't get a link monster and i mean damn just think about how many warrior archetypes there are in the game of Yu-Gi-Oh! like sir teller knights and basically everything under the sun there's there's so many different warriors in Yu-Gi-Oh! so definitely feeling the summoning conditions uh link points are bottom left bottom right gotta love that too uh first effect and each effect is a hard once per turn first effect if this card is link summoned you can add a you can add one warrior monster from your deck to your hand you cannot not normal summon or special summon the monster that was added and um, you can't use that monster's effect uh during this turn so you can't it's a hard effect on that monster's effect like let's just say hypothetically you search black luster soldier from inspiration's effect it means that if you have like a black luster soldier on the field you can't use that black luster soldier's effect so konami is clearly telling you you know you can't really have much interaction with that card i guess you can discard it but i don't even care because like i'll take that if you're telling me i get to like search a warrior i just can't summon it i effectively can't use it during that turn i just have to kind of prepare for the next turn i think i'll take that like the fact is she's giving you um she's giving you back you know on your initial investment like she's giving you a little equity back so i'll definitely take that second effect is obviously something a little more specific to noble knights even though the first effect does basically give you a free copy of rota which uh you know konami probably is not going to put rota back at three anytime soon second effect says you can send any uh, number of uh, you can send any number of equipped spell cards with different names from your deck to the graveyard. Special summon a warrior monster from your deck whose level equals the number of cards that were sent to the graveyard. This way, this is just amazing. Uh, not only does she summon from the deck, which means when you know like when you not normal, but when you link summon this card, she's going to give you two different cards. She's going to add one to your hand, and then she's going to special summon from the deck. But that's not only a amazing but it also kind of really sets up nicely for your xc plays the noble knight xc's if you guys don't know uh they can actually add uh well it's two different xc's i believe both of them are king arthur but yeah it's two different uh noble knight xc's both of them can equip uh noble arm cards from your graveyard uh straight on to themselves so obviously this sets up really nicely now the thing that i do wonder is how exactly are you going to summon her and then still be able to summon like your king arthur exceeds like i don't know if i really see that happening i think that noble knight players might want to look at running uh skill i'm not skill drain uh soul charge in the deck because that can definitely help you get a bunch of monsters it's kind of a shame i wish that noble knights had like a noble knight rematch or something like that that would be amazing but this card on paper is just fantastic i don't think that there's anything that i don't like about it and it's really crazy saying that about a noble knight because this has been an archetype that 
historically i've kind of dragged through the mud and i've really done nothing but talk shit about this deck especially you know i talk about how boring it is to duel against and i banned it kind of from my stream i'm like normal knight so boring to duel against and i said it was never good and they end up getting a link monster that is actually incredible i think that noble knights at this point they need to kind of lean on this card this card is too good not to kind of go into uh immediately in my opinion what noble knights really need now is i, I think they just need ways of like summoning back cards from the graveyard because you can get this card on the board fairly easy noble knights have multiple ways of special summoning monsters from their hand so whatever you guys think leave it in the comment section below man it's just it's crazy this is probably my favorite monster from the brains pack and it's a fucking noble knight card amazing artwork about both effects are really good incredibly easy to summon actually no no no. i'm gonna give it to the gym knight yeah this this will be my second favorite anyways thank you guys for watching as always subscribe if you have not already turn on those notifications for daily videos